Oh, hey, we started. Hi, I'm Ryan, and we are going to be going over these blinking Irish 3D printed goggles. <laughs> Hey all you 3D printers, welcome back to the video. So what I have for you here today is a little contradictory of a 3D printing goggles. Now, what these 3D printing goggles do is exactly as they are supposed to blink. Now as you can see my two fingers are holding two tabs up here. These two tabs are supposed to have another piece that goes right here in the middle. Now I used to have the piece but I did not like it using it. Now these are just plug in plays. There is a right and there is a left. Yes, they're both black. It took me a long time to figure out they were right or left. So let me carefully take this one out. So now when you guys first print these out, this is gonna be the complicated part. The, there's gonna be four of these black things behind it. Now they're gonna be welded shut due to the 3D printing, printing it out and holding them down. Now in the process of printing with no heated, heated uh, build base, you might have these break off, they might not work, it might not, you might not be able to print these, but in that case, if it does work, like I got lucky I printed these out like maybe three or four times, um, these four connectors behind here you guys will have to take an exacto knife and slit a few slots and just try to turn it. don't force it just try to turn it and it'll click it took me three or four times to just take a little exacto knife and just go and slice it now once you get them open make sure this top piece right here goes on top and then be careful that you're Holster does not break. I don't think I have another one. No, I think I got rid of that a long time. Yo. Yeah, I think I made a pair for my ex, well, girlfriend at the time. My ex, she wanted a pair because she was very into um, cosplays. It also looked like the guy from, um, what is it thing called? Uh, Spy Kids, the, the new one. Not with the originals, but the new ones. Um, but anyway, so basically the strap, you can get, uh, just a piece of string or even some, you know, uh, what is it called? Um, they have a certain name for it on, uh, line or you can get the straps like they have in your, you know, the mask that we have to wear now. But this was four or five years ago and these really held up well. Basically what you're supposed to be able to do is... Put these on with the little strap, tighten them here, and then you have two little strings coming off the side here. And this, what this piece does, is it holds them and makes them snap back to blink, I believe. Because I believe you pull them open, and then you they close automatically. But me, I like them just because they look creepy. You can still see out of them kind of well. But from the outside, you can't really see any of my eyes, I don't think. So, like, they are perfect for, like, cosplay, or even if you're just trying to be weird. But, anyway. So, yeah, th these are how they work. You can have one open. But I just like them because they're really cool. You can just go, whoop. You can't see me now, can you? Uh, they do cut off your vision a little bit, so you can't really see. I mean, I can see you guys somewhat, but not really. Um, you have these sort of, like, weird... Um, how do you say it? Like one of the like a swirly X. So something where it goes like that. And actually it would just go like this. It would basically go like this and then like this. Like a plus sign. You see how these connect together? That's the kind of like line you would see. But they are pretty cool. I love them. I have never really used them for anything than just showing them off or just something cool to wear. Um Thought about using for a Halloween costume, eventually Mad Scientist or something, because of my hair. <laughs> because my hair always looks like a Mad Scientist. But, um, 
Yeah, these are the Irish. Well, I'm gonna just say Irish. It's it's I R. I R. Yeah, it's I. It's I R I S. So that's why I say Irish or Iris. Iris. So, but they're blinking Iris goggles, and they are pretty cool. They're on Thingverse. Uh, gonna drop a link underneath the video itself. I uh, hope you guys came here to watch it to enjoy how to put them together. Um. Little background, my 3D printer printed these a long time ago. Um, I didn't have no problems with them, barely. The only one I did have a problem with was, was one of them one time. I was using red filament, cheapest stuff I could get. And one of the um, goggles inside, one of the uh, coverments, actually uh, broke and fell off. So... Yeah, it wasn't a very good print process. That one I had to throw totally away. Couldn't fix it. Couldn't do nothing to it. Couldn't figure out a way to fix it. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Hope you guys learned a little something on these. And if you have a 3D printer, print it yourself. I best thing I would ever do. I shoot it off constantly. When I was in high school, I was like the man of like doing all kinds of crazy stuff and having crazy things. Like I got sensitive principles off a lot. For having these with me they were like what the fuck are you doing i'm like it's a 3d printer what else am i supposed to do you guys won't supply the tools for me like, shit i bought a 3d printer and i actually took the initiative to go and do some crazy ass things so like i can still do a little bit of 3d printing i do mess with dimensions make little um tree kits uh my friend actually i did an anniversary thing for him the one year that was pretty cool he enjoyed that a lot. And then they broke up like two or three months later, which was fucked up. But, you know, it happens. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you check out the last 3D printing video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's